Hey everybody, how's it going? Before we get started, I'd like to ask you if you could and want to, and if you enjoy the variety content, to, I know I hate asking it, but leave a like and a comment because I don't know if the algorithm is gonna, you know, mess with this. <laughs> I'm very scared to upload something that isn't Genshin, and I would like to do more variety, and showing support now is probably the most important for me personally, but also just the success, I guess, of variety content. It's a shame I have to ask, I really dislike doing it, but there you have it. Thank you very much in advance. I've been very scared, as I said, of doing non-Genshin stuff. It usually does very badly, but I still want to do variety every now and then. I've no plans on quitting Genshin at all, but it's just, you know, very nice to be able to do different things every now and then. So yeah, once again, I apologize for asking the whole like, oh, please like and comment, but <laughs> it does help a lot, I guess. I don't even know if it does help. I just, <laughs> people always ask it. I feel like I never do. So uh, the one time I do is because I, I'm a bit scared of how this is going to perform and that would help me out. If you think it's very sudden, I've been doing digital art for a few months now, and it's like, it kind of came out of nowhere. A friend of mine and I started drawing together. I really enjoyed it. I also really enjoy their company, company, com how do you pronounce that word? <laughs> I just enjoyed hanging out with her, and it was, it was really nice, and I enjoyed drawing. I made the promise that I'd get better. There it is. But yeah, for a few months, I've been posting my progress on Twitter, as you can see behind me, or, or like, I'm talking like you can see me, but I, I assume I'm making some kind of character move to my voice or something to make it a little bit more interactive. Either way, this is what I drew so far. I'll put the date as well so you can see how the progress has been going since my very first drawing that I've used often in videos just to meme around about how bad it is. My way of drawing is a bit special in comparison to what, like, people will teach you to do, so maybe don't take an example of me. I'm self-taught, or at least my friend taught me most of the stuff I know, and I still added my own twist to it, you know, by just not respecting any of the original rules and kind of just drawing lines based on what I'm seeing, which yes, does make it a bit more difficult when I try and pure creativity, no example at all. I'm not very good at yet, but I'll be working on it eventually. Either way, shout out to that friend. Uh, I know you'll know yourself if you're hearing this. I miss you a lot and I uh, hope that we can draw together soon again. In the background are some of my starting quote unquote pieces that I recorded. To be able to compare, you know, in the future with the new pieces I make, I think it's very cool to have a progress thing. And this video kind of will also help me because we're logging my progress and then maybe every now and then we do a little art video, see how far I got. Here's a very recent one as well. I did this on the iPad. I draw on two things mostly. I'll tell you my equipment. The thing I started drawing on recently is my iPad on Procreate with an Apple Pen. But before that, I was drawing on the XP Pen 8 tablet, I believe. And I'm using that right now for today's video. So if you do like this kind of content, eventually we can make it a, a regular thing. There's still a million more basics I need to learn as well. Like, <laughs> I don't color anything. It's mostly line art because I want to try and quote unquote perfect that. Obviously, it's going to take forever. But I have the most fun drawing lines. Lines, I guess so far. Then I'll start coloring. That went awful. Here's one attempt I did at coloring. I didn't go further than this because it, it's time consuming. I'll try again at some point. Okay, I think I'm gonna get started from here. Their username online is Bananat. You wanna go check them out. Great art, I'm a fan, and I'm gonna try and redraw it. And it's gonna be worse, but <laughs> the idea is still great. I haven't drawn on this in a little bit. I'm making up excuses already. I don't even know what I used to use. This is not what I use usually. This, it is this. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so what I've done is I've sped up all the content, pretty much nothing got cut, and I plan on leaving some comments in and then filling the voids with voiceovers like this. What does it look like Falco stock in Melee right now? Obviously, I'm sure you've seen it by now. There's a two week delay on the next patch on Genshin. So I'm assuming there won't be a lot of content, which gives me a chance for variety. What else would you like to see? And I also plan on doing a character building video. Obviously don't need a new patch for that. Probably physical ag or something. So here's one of those moments. I'm really struggling with scale right now. And it's probably mostly because I don't do this whole thing. You know, people keep telling me, you know, just, just do this, man. Do the circle and then you do these things. And I'm like, I get it. <laughs> I get it, but I'm stubborn and I'm just kind of redrawing what I'm seeing anyway. I'm gonna keep going with this for now, even though it's not really working out. This is gonna take forever. I know I can't do noses. You can definitely tell already that I don't really follow the rules as far as drawing goes. Usually when it looks awful, I still wanna finish the whole thing to get an idea of the big picture and see what I can fix, you know, in the mistakes that I've made and in the final product. Well, it's not final product, but you know, finish line art. You know what I'm saying? Because I definitely remember looking at this right now and being like, this is not it. <laughs> but I think it turns out decent. I can kind of see it start getting some shape, but it's definitely not not great yet. I can feel I'm, I'm a bit rusty for sure. I haven't done it in a long time. Also, I made layers, but I'm not really using them at all. But 
Eh, whatever. I have a lot of fun trying out new software, etc. The only downside is that I never really get to learn about one program, and instead I struggle with multiple layers, making multiple layers smaller, which is super easy thing to do, I'm sure. I could have googled it very easily, but I'm lazy. Why is this starting to look like something? I did the eye, which was way too tiny, obviously. I, I made it bigger at one point. This looked like absolute garbage and it's starting to look like something now maybe it's a bit too squished i feel like this should be a bit wider maybe yeah i'm pretty happy with how it's going so far i'm excited for the hand i love drawing hands for some reason let's just get it for scale and so that I don't do details that I don't know how to do for no reason, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Here's another thing I like to do when I struggle with scale on a certain thing. I draw a different feature on a new layer and try and see where I went wrong. This definitely helped right here. I need more space. I don't know why I can't, I can't like grab this and make it all tinier. It is just taking the eye still. I don't remember how to do this. And I took a massive canvas so this wouldn't happen, and I've done it again. Sick. Am I seriously doing this right now? I'm copying this. I have to make it 15k. <laughs> the 15k canvas. Wait for it, wait for it. Bam. Okay, and now we paste it. Oh my god, I have space. I need to learn how to draw smaller. I can't do it. As you can see, I went with the Oonga Boonga Caveman tech and made the canvas bigger instead. It works, but it definitely made my software slower because it has so much to process. How the f do people do this? Okay, well, uh, I'm gonna need to take a little break and get some dinner, and I'll be back after. Okay, we're back. Ah, uh, it's good. It's, it's, it's going. It's going. I had a nice... I ate some paprika chicken. I want to get the blush down eventually, too. I'm excited for the blush. <laughs> This is so, like, against my nature. How the f*** do you do this? I can't. I still haven't figured out how to do it. It must be my gremlin editing gamer hands that can't figure it out. Even Dr. Levi's hand stretches for gamers can't help me. It's, it's rough. <laughs> also, I didn't even mention that I was done with beta, but I guess that's not bad because now you'll see the end result when we put them together. Okay, I, I'm pretty happy with how Beto ended up. Obviously, I really do want to color it, but time crunch. <laughs> I think maybe what we'll do is if we do a second part, I will try and continue this piece instead of trying something else. How about that? That episode's gonna be like five hours long though, because I don't know how to do it. Back to square one, but on Ningguang this time. The more I look at this, the more I want to put more time into it and make it look nicer. So I really hope you do enjoy this and maybe you want to see more in the future. I don't want to cheat. I'm not going to copy the eye over. I'm going to draw a second one. I just don't know how to flip the canvas. Here we go with the nose again. <laughs> it only works. It's like a Simpsons nose. Look at this. It's Homer Simpson. Another thing I forgot to mention and I wanted to say is that I absolutely love fan art. And if you want to make some based on, you know, the first character you saw, uh, which is, you know, based on me as a person, <laughs> you can tweet it at me with the hashtag Rednark, which is a hashtag we made up during the stream. Uh, we went through a lot of names and this is the one that ended up winning. So, hey, if you want to do that, there you go. I think it's pretty good. I think it's looking pretty decent. I'm gonna add the shadow already because I'm happy with how it looks. I hate like the, I tried to shadow this here and it just looks like shit. So instead I'm gonna get rid of all that. Is this looking, is this looking how we want it? Something's off. I think the eyes are too small. So, uh, this void is 25 seconds long, so from now on I'll start just doing little rambles and talk about random stuff. Here's some more things I consider drawing for this, but I thought it was a more cute collab piece that we make the heart together. You know, you're either Beto or Ning Wong and I'm the other one. I thought it was cute, because you guys, you know, you support me and I try to make good content. <laughs> it's not that deep, I just thought it, it had a tiny bit more spice for this. I think I'll do the same as with Beta. I don't feel confident at all right now in how this is looking, so I'll try and do the hand right now, and hopefully it will give me a better idea of like scale and stuff. This already gives me a better idea of how to place things, I'll be honest, but I do think the eyes are off. What we can also do is make this a second channel thing, which means that I wouldn't edit it as much as I'm doing right now, but I do think that's a bit lengthy, and I, I just I just like the idea of making an art video that's more edited and more fun to watch. Speaking of the second channel, I uploaded the Ayato quest there, so if you want to see that, and it's not on the main channel, it, that's why it's not edited, but it's on there. 
Same thing happened here as earlier. I felt the hair was too high, so I thought I'd draw the hand to get a better idea of scale. <laughs> See, I'm allergic to art. I don't know what it is. It's, it's really rough. I'm struggling, I'll be honest. I'm not commentating at all during this. I thought I'd be talking a lot more, but I just like being quiet, I guess. You know, it's like nice and relaxing, therapeutic. I'm resting. While I'm murdering this, I don't think it looks good at all. But hey, I think the fact that I know I'm recording this and I'm gonna upload it. Okay, stressed out is a lot. <laughs> I'm not stressed out, but I'm like, it, it, it is in my mind. I'm like, I wonder what people are gonna say about this garbage. It's not awful, but it's not great. Let's say that at least. That already looks a lot better. I don't know. I just have to work on different things to slowly realize mistakes I make. I feel like this isn't one of those things I'm gonna be looking at and I'm gonna be like proud. You know, it's more of a, it's more of a ew. I think I end up leaving the hair the way it is, but that's because it looked decent already. Haha, <laughs> stop bullying me. Sure. Ning. Her eye is more like expressed. Okay, let's try and make the eyes a bit darker then. Maybe that will help. I'm still not sure how to feel about this. It's a lot less detail to draw, which usually makes my art look the least bad. There's no way. Like, I mean, the fact I make him so big, that's why this looks so bad when I color it in, because it's like 5,000 pixels wide. How does it add so much? Okay, <laughs> how does it add so much personality though, for real? For example, with the Yelan, I drew a ton of detail, which made it look better than my average, I feel like. The blush. We should go first a little bit of shadow and a blush. And now I need to, since I'm such an idiot and I've made the canvas 15k this time, I need to make it 30k so I can fit both of them on here, right? Watch me have crashed it. I should definitely save before I keep going, because it is- I think it's because I make such massive files. <laughs> it's struggling a bit, so let me save this real quick. Okay, it doesn't look that bad. Gang! <laughs> Gang, it looks pretty okay, actually. No, but for real though, how's that? This is way, way, way too big. <laughs> is this 10 gigs? No way, right? There's no way. Oh my god, what am I doing? Sure, for now that'll work. I won't touch anything. Okay, great. It's finally back to being responsive. It took a little bit. I think at this point, I was just happy that it ended up looking better than I thought. So I was feeling it and decided to thank you all for 200,000 subscribers. Yes, a bit early. I still feel like I can improve it a lot, but I think that's what's fun about art. You're never really done. You can always progress. And it's like an infinite MMO experience, you know, for us nerd gamers out there. Okay, I think I fixed it. I added a little message for all of you guys. Maybe I'm gonna lose all my subscribers before we get there. Thank you so much in advance. It's it's crazy, and I, I hope eventually that people will like to watch other things, just like this, for example. I've said this like six times this video already. But yeah, I'm happy with how it looks in the end. Now, here's something that's super cool that we could do. What do you think needs to change, and what is my next step in completing this? What if we just slowly but surely try and complete this piece with your advice? I think that'd be pretty cool. If instead you'd rather have me draw other stuff, we can do that too. Either way, Thank you so much for watching this so far. I'm probably gonna do another outro after this because I love talking. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I don't love I don't love talking, but I always feel like there's a million things to say. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time, hopefully. Bye bye.